Hi, Mark Leapart here, continuing on with the Big Fix Foundation series. In this section, I'll cover the install of the console, the agent, and web UI. Let's get started. Okay, so we're continuing where we uh, left off with the install generator. Uh, we had uh, previously installed the server and the, and the web reports. So now we're going to install the console. Uh, so it's pretty simple, you know, select it, uh, accept the defaults, and uh, you can choose to launch your console or continue to install agents. So let's install an agent. So after we install a console, now we're going to install the agent. And again, from the installation generator, select install or upgrade client and uh, follow the prompts. Uh, you, the only thing you really want to change there is if uh, you don't want it on the C volume, you want it on some other volume. Uh, note that you must install a BEZ agent on your big fix server. We use this for almost everything. Uh, so the agent is, a, is our workhorse. So uh, if you don't install it, nothing's gonna work. So make sure you install it. Installing the web UI. Uh, so web UI, uh, as I had mentioned, uh, does use quite a few resources and it's gonna be using more, uh, but you can choose to install it onto your root server. That is very simple. Uh, it's very easy to move it. Uh, we have fixlets that you can uh, delete the web UI and recreate it uh, on another server. Uh, if you decide to do that in the future, uh, use those fixlets. But uh, either way, uh, we are going to need some information when we install the web UI. Uh, the license.pvk file, the password to your license.pvk file, and then uh, your masthead or action site. Uh, so you browse for those and answer those questions, hit next. Uh, then you get to decide what port you're going to use. So by default, we're going to use 443 and port 80. Uh, if those are, we check to see if they're already in use. So uh, if they're already in use, uh, you can check, use some different ports, but uh, these are the defaults out of the box. Uh, fourth is uh, Web UI needs to be able to access your big fix databases. Um, as I mentioned also earlier, um, we recommend you install with a uh, SQL Server authentication. And my example is showing using SQL Server to do the authentication. Um, if you have, uh, you're using a Windows credentials, well, you can provide those too. Works either way. That brings us to the end of installing the Big Fix console, the Big Fix agent, and Web UI. You can find more uh, details in the product docs following this URL. Thank you very much.